Okay, this is my hydroponics uh, setup. This is uh, uh, the idea was, I guess, uh, I got it from the person who's uh, I'm posting this to as a video response. But I used uh, an, a repurposed uh, entertainment center that I was going to uh, throw out. Um, so let's see, we have the two liter bottles. Uh, with the tops cut off are the, the individual grow chambers. I have, let's see, parsley, garlic, chives, dill, oregano, sweet basil, cilantro, rosemary, tarragon, broccoli, and uh, oh, sweet tomatoes in each one. The way it works, um, let's see, we have our, our four gallon uh, or two gallon uh, huge nutrient reservoir. Uh, the pump, which is right here, is on a timer. Turns on, I have it set to uh, turn on every six hours. And it, uh, when it turns on, it floods, or it, uh, the air pushes the, um, the nutrient water down and up the reservoir, or out of the reservoir, excuse me, and into this uh, manifold that I built out of uh, um, nylon uh, tube fittings, T-joints. Uh, don't try to, uh, if you can see that, uh, don't try to stick hose over a threaded uh, union there. It will leak, as I found out. I filled in the threads with hot glue and then put the tube over it and then zip tied them. Uh, let's see. The Each grow chamber is basically just uh, pebbles or pea gravel inside of a food saver vacuum bag that I sized to the two liter bottles and uh, used a sewing machine to punch a bunch of holes in them so that they uh, let the water flow in and out. Um, one thing that I like to add uh, in contrast to the design is don't do this. This is the bottle uh, cap and I first JB welded this uh, nylon hose barb into it uh, after I, I cut it in half. Uh, they're basically a male male um, hose barb that yeah I cut in half. JB welded them and then put uh, that uh, epoxy putty around it. These uh, almost all of these ended up failing or leaking and I, I guess this is nothing really sticks to the plastic. If you're going to try this setup do yourself a favor and instead, go to Walmart, buy a $3 bag of corks, drill a hole in them, and then jam a piece of PEX tubing uh, that I cut to size. I coated the, the ends of it here with um, Gorilla Glue so that uh, it has good seal. You can see kind of some of it kind of uh, has uh, overflowed a little bit, but that's fine. These uh, happen to be a perfect fit for... Um, for the two liter bottles and they are watertight. They do not leak at all. There is a little bit of a gap between the this outside diameter and the inside diameter of the tubing, which I actually filled with uh, Teflon or, or uh, plumbers or thread, thread tape um, just to fill the gap. I don't know if you can see it. And then I zip tied those as well. And fortunately those are also watertight. Uh, let's see. And that's pretty much it. Um, thanks for watching. Hope uh, hope it gives you some ideas and can start a hydroponics garden. Thanks.